So, Behavior Interactive, we've got a new game in the alpha phase titled Death Garden. They were nice enough to send us some alpha keys, and we streamed it the other day. We did a decent bit of fun with the concept. Up to five runners try to run, slide, and climb through a procedurally generated titular garden to keep away from one strong hunter who is to stop them from securing the objectives and opening the escape. The hunter and runners each have their own tools and perks to use to complete their respective tasks. It sounds fun, albeit very similar to the company's previous title, Dead by Daylight. But how does it play out? Let's start with the runners. Playing as one of the five runners can be a bit of a daunting task. You can jump all over the place, slide, crouch, and sneak around. Using your bow, you mark resources for your team. Using these resources, you purchase upgrades and stations throughout the map. These upgrades are then used to get the ability arrows or caltraps you selected at the start of the match for use against the hunter. Doing this, you try to capture at least two of the three control points. However, your position is revealed as you capture them, meaning you won't be sticking around very long before the hunter's onto you. That's alright though, because the control point meters are segmented, and each segment keeps progress, serving as a checkpoint when filled. The runners are obviously pursued by the hunter, a mysterious figure who can bring two of three weapons shotgun, sniper rifle, and assault rifle, in addition to some gadgets of his own. Of this arsenal, you'll want the shotgun and assault rifle. The spread of the shotgun, as well as the negligible recoil from the rifle, make both of them very easy to knock down the runners. The hunter's sentry gun turret is very overpowered and will usually knock out runners almost instantly or heavily damage them. You'll notice I said knock out or take down rather than kill, when referring to the hunter's role. The first three times the hunter knocks out a runner, that's used to charge the blood post, which is the designated area on the map that the hunter can eventually send knocked out runners to. If he can reach them while they're on the blood post, he can perform an interaction to execute the mare. Now that you have a rough idea of how each class plays, let's look at how well they play. Not that well. By admission on the game's official website, the hunter is designed to be overpowered, and it shows he knocks down runners with relative ease, and it can be very frustrating to play the role of runner at times as a result. As you move on in game development, or through life in general, the goal is to learn from mistakes. Behavior Interactive chose to... amplify them. The hunter slaughters people, then teleports them to the blood post, which is functionally Dead by Daylight's hooks with a faster kill time. A big issue within the Dead by Daylight community is hook camping. This game not only provides the tools to hook camp multiple angles at once, but that's the win condition for the hunter. The game is very one-sided as it's meant to be, but it shouldn't be to this degree. I hope you like being the hunter, or I hope you like a pointless mad dash, because that's what you get when you play the Death Garden Alpha right now.